Hey, Dante, I just want to start out by asking how you're doing and, and how it feels back to, to be a practice after about a year and a half off. Um, I feel good. You know, it's um it's always good to to get back with the guys. Um, you know, just in, enjoying the the couple of days I've had on the field. Um, you know, just getting to know getting to know my new teammates and, and greeting the old ones. Um, but it's it, it's been fun. And uh, I know that I mean you might have seen it. There was some weird stuff floating out there on Twitter. I'm assuming I know the answer to this question since you're sitting here. But um, do you intend to play this season? Well, I wouldn't be out here doing this for free. <laughs> that's that's what I assumed. Thank you. Yeah. Next, we'll go to Levin Reed, and I'll ask anybody else out there with questions for Dante. Please raise your hand. Go ahead, Levin. Hey, Dante. Good to see your face, and I hope everything is well with you and your family. I hope you had a good year off. I just opted out with, with everything that was going on. Um, how is it to knock the rust off? How has it been to kind of get out there and kind of get your, your feet underneath you? Uh, thanks, Levin. Appreciate that. Uh, it's been good, man. Uh, you know, I've, I've uh, obviously I've been working in, working at home. Um, you know, whether, uh, whether or not being here or whatever, but, um, it, it feels good to, to be out on the field. Uh, but more or less, man, it's more about the locker room and being around these guys. Um, I mean, I was in the house for 360 for a whole year, man. <laughs> and, uh, love my wife and I love my son, but I was, you know, I'm pretty sure that she was ready for me to get back out here too. And, you know, talking football off in her, in, in into her her ear and her head. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad to be back. Um, Glad to be around all the guys. Uh, just glad to be back in the facility. And real quick, how important is that camaraderie? Because a lot of the guys have brought that up, that it's just great to have the off season when you guys can be together instead of doing everything virtual. Um, you know, it's it, it, it comes both ways, man. Uh, you know, building camaraderie, I mean, it, it's different for everybody. But to me, um, essentially, it's just, you know, being able to relate to another guy, you know, uh, whenever that whole, the whole accountability thing comes in. Um, you know, knowing knowing guys' purposes, you know, not just, you know, for a check, but, you know, a lot of guys are here, you know, to take care of their family for, you know, specific reasons, you know, uh, you know, know their story, know their, know their journey. Um, you know, that, that I feel like to me, you know, that, that makes, you know, whenever a guy is out there and they know, you know, um, hell or high water, man, I'm going to do my job just because, it's, you know, they mean that, that much more to me. Um, you know, I feel like that's, that's part of camaraderie. Next, we'll go to Andrew Callahan, then Trey Dare. Hey, Dante, it's good to see you. Still got those ups, huh? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so I, I know the, the the hard work is really ahead, right? Bill's told us countless times this is about teaching and kind of getting back and getting new guys. I mean, can you say definitively without going through pad of practices of preseason that you're fully committed to, to playing this season? Could you say that again? Just can you say, even though you haven't gotten to the rigors of training camp, that you're ready to play Next season, we're fully committed all in. I mean, I, I, don't, I mean, what I don't know what y'all want me to say, man. I'm I'm here and I'm 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 working. <laughs> I'm I'm in I'm in mini camp, bro. I'm not I'm not here to write a story for you, dog. I'm I'm here to work, man. I'm uh, this is I'm here. I don't, I don't know what what else y'all need me to say. Like I I'm, I'm if I wasn't if I wasn't here, then I think that probably be you know something to talk about. But I mean, I'm I'm here, so hopefully right. that knocks all the all those questions out yeah um I know it's just a mini camp pick but what did making that play did you feel like yourself again and anything about that interception or just being on the field do you feel like you're getting back to something or is this at all new for you man I'm just I'm just glad to be back um you know got got days to work and that's what that's why I'm here to work so uh whatever position whatever call whatever whatever it is man I'm I'm just I'm excited to be back I'm excited to be on the field um, I'm excited to be around these guys, and um, you know I'm, I'm I'm just really enjoying myself right now. Thanks, man. Welcome back. Thank you. <clears throat> Next up, Trey Dare, and then Bob Sosa. Trey, you got to unmute. Hi, Paul. It should be good to go. Uh, Dante, I just wanted to get your perspective with uh, I guess a little bit of a different view in it coming in this year. Your thoughts on on Cam Newton, the respect you've had for him throughout his career, and and how he seemingly established himself as a as a locker room leader. Um, you know, I have the utmost respect for Cam. Um, obviously played him in played him in college. Um, and then the the, the accolades that he's he's received and being in the NFL, 
I think that says a lot about his character, you know, not just um, him as a football player, um, but, you know, I, I respect and, and, and love Cam as a, as, a, as a football player and a person. Um, and, you know, just the few days that I've been here, you know, um, definitely definitely a different vibe, you know, on that, on that side of the ball. And, um, you know, he brings a lot of juice. He brings a lot of emotion. Um, and, you know, guys, guys feed off of that. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's, it's good to watch, you know, being on the opposite side of the ball. And next we'll go to Bob Sosi, then Tom Kern. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Dante. Good to see you out here and good to see you here. Uh, curious, to get back to this point, what did you do physically with, with your nutrition? Did you change your training? Uh, how did you approach getting back into football You know, when you've been at home, like you said, for 365 days? Um, you know, at first, at first I was kind of going after heavy. Um, then I kind of fell back on that a little bit. Um, and then, um, honestly, I started working, uh, with my cousin, um, you know, around February at, um, you know, Jeremy Holt at David Lipscomb and, um, you know, we just kind of got after it and, uh, just not as heavy on the Olympic weights, you know, pliability, trying to stay long and just, uh, a lot of cycling. Um, I bought a Peloton and I've been, you know, jumping on that thing, you know, left and right. So that's been my whole thing. Um, you know, just, just want to stay ready. Um, obviously I'm not, um, I'm aware that, you know, if I was to be, take a whole year off and not do anything, man, I don't think anybody wants to try to come back and play football in that. So that was always in the back of my mind as well. It was, was there a reason for the Peloton in particular? Did you, did you talk to other guys that, that had done that and gone that route? Um, I mean, we have, uh, we've got bikes here. Um, and yeah. I, I mean, I, I have a, just a, a, a bike that I actually will cycle, but um, I mean, cy cycling is just, I hate running and, you know, cycling's uh <laughs> Cycling's, cycling's good for your legs, and and that's that was kind of where I went with it. So uh, just just cycling, man. <laughs> a little easier on the knees. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Bob. All right, hey Dante, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. And uh, before we go to the last question, I'll just make a quick announcement. Devin McCourty is starting in Stacy's room. Um, looks like last question. We'll go to Tom Kern. Hey Dante, welcome back, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Um, my question is, as you were coming up, there was Vince Wilfork and, and Mayo. And as this group progressed from the 2010s into the 2020s, they all held different roles in terms of kind of moving the culture forward. Do you feel that same responsibility heading forward? Because there's so many new and younger guys around you now that are being indoctrinated as well. Do you mean as far as um, do I feel like I'm the older guy now? No, more of you are the older guy, but how you <laughs> pass it on to these guys. Look, Vince told me this, and Vince was told this by Richard Seymour. And Richard Seymour was told this by Willie McGinnis. It's just that culture that's so cool to watch pass down through a program. Um, you know, I think um, different guys have different ways of going about it. Um, obviously the, the culture aspect of the whole Patriot way, you know, that kind of resonates, you know, in the building and with Bill, but, um, I mean, everywhere I've been since I was young, man, you just, you know, you're only as uh, strong as your weakest link, you know, kind of thing. And, you know, I don't want to keep any secrets to myself as far as, you know, whether that's taking care of my body or how I diagnose plays or, or, you know, what my schedule is or whatever, whenever it comes to a young guy, you know, I'm. I'm essentially here to help. You know, Mayo was there for me whenever I needed help. Uh, Spikes was there for me when I needed help. Tracy White, uh, Mike Rivera. I mean, the list goes on. That group that we had was uh, a lot, you know, built up on brotherhood and camaraderie. So, uh, you know, I'm going to do my best to, to you know, you know, bestow, bestow whatever knowledge I can in all these young guys. But, um, I mean, I don't have a – there's not a written book. I think I think the guys that you that you mentioned, Vince, Mayo, and uh, Seymour, was guys that uh, – a lot of guys looked up to and respected. And, um, you know, a lot of times they, do, they didn't have to say too much. You know, they would go out and, and play or practice or, you know, led by example. So, um, you know, I feel like I'm doing, you know, whatever those guys need need from me, whether it's from the coaches or, or the players, you know, I'm willing to step in that role and, you know, whatever it is and do it. All right. Thanks a lot. And uh, final question, Chris Gasper.
Hey, Dante, how are you? I'm good, Chris. How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. Good to see you. Um, just want to ask you, did you ever give any consideration to not coming back to play after sitting out last year? Was there any consideration of retirement or pull of retirement, especially given your your family situation and, and being a dad? Um, honestly, just my thought was that I, I mean, I'm up, the opt out was for 2019, and that was 2019. Um, all them rumors about retirement and stuff, y'all y'all had me thinking somebody was trying to kick me out. Uh, but, I mean, I, like I said, man, I did what I did uh, for the betterment and what I thought was better for my family. And um, obviously I feel a little different in the situation I'm, 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 I'm in now. But, um, I mean, if I had to do it again, if, if I had to go back and do it, I would absolutely do it again. So, um, you know, it's, it was literally just for the season. I ain't – wasn't planning, you know, one, two steps ahead or anything like that. Yeah, the only reason I ask that is sometimes guys get away from the game and you see a different sort of lifestyle and it's harder to jump back in to make that commitment. Um, it sounds like you knew all along. Has it been you know, sort of like riding a bike from a mental standpoint, commitment standpoint? Um, kind of, but, you know, uh, just like riding a bike, you know, if you if it's been too long, you know, it'll take a little time, but um, you know, I was, you know, watching film and, you know, trying to keep up with the guys there throughout the season and stuff like that. But um, I, I did, I was aware of, you know, not being, being away too long. Uh, but, you know, that wasn't, again, whenever the opt-out came, you know, that was, that was never, you know, my intentions, but I'd be, you know, naive to think that, again, if I didn't do anything, that, you know, I would enjoy my time at home and, fall too far out of shape. And then whenever it comes time to, you know, actually get out and run, man, I'm looking around and I'm like, nah, I think I'm just gonna eat these donuts and and and, and drink these beers and stuff. But um, it was it was it was great, man. Uh, I enjoyed my time at home with my son and my wife and um, I'm glad to be back to work. All right, good to have you back. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Dante.